Hi, I'm Madeline, and this is Wine Folly. Today, we're going to be discussing what wine sediment is and how you can remove it so you can enjoy your wine sediment free. Sediment in wine occurs as a winemaker's decision to leave a wine unfiltered in order to maintain a richer texture and quality in the wine. This can happen in red and white wines, and it can be one of several things. Uh, the first thing it can be is lees. Uh, lees are basically dead yeast bits that float around in your wine. Your wine, wine is made from yeast, so those guys hang out and they die and it's kind of funky. The majority of the lees do get strained off of most wines um, and they are left at the, bottle, the bottom of the barrel, so that's usually not a concern. Uh, the second thing it could be is uh, proteins. Um, those are very, very fine and they'll actually make your wine cloudy, a lot of wines that are cloudy have proteins hanging out them. Those are more difficult to rem remove and that's not what we'll be doing today. Um, the last thing it can be is uh, it can be potassium bitartrate, which is something that pre uh, pre precipitates through the wine as the wine's made. It's a byproduct of wine making and it's cream of tartar. Same thing. Um, and the, oh, the other thing that it could be is actually tannins, little pips, skins, grape bits. Um, that happens a lot in red wines that are made um, with the grapes and skins um, to extract more color in the wine. And so the winemakers will leave that in the wine. Um, this is probably what's happening in this wine. This is a red wine um, from Italy. A lot of old world wines tend to be unfiltered. It's just a stylistic choice. The best way to remove it is actually to leave it standing upright over a day and then patiently um, you pull out a decanter um, which you'll then have to clean afterward and you'll pour out the majority of the uh, bottle into the decanter and leave the little bits and skins at the bottom of the bottle. I'm super impatient and I want my wine now. So I'm gonna use the ghetto method and my favorite way to, thing to use is my tea strainer um, which I just put up on the edge of the glass. Um, it's relatively fine, not super fine, but I think the important thing is that you get the bits and skins uh, you leave those from the inside of the glass because those are bitter, uh, they have a strange texture, and they'll help and they'll ruin the wine experience. So all you do is take your filter, pour some wine out, and there, filtered wine. Pretty simple, right? No stuff.